obsessed with vinyl. My thing with vinyl is that it's a project. Somebody went through and thought about all this and somebody put it meant to put it all together. So when I see it, it's like it, I finally get to own a piece of it. It's, it's, it's something that you can literally take with you. you. You get to literally add it to your library. All of a sudden it becomes part of your home. And to me, it's like anything digital, like whether it's like, you know, listening to it on iTunes or listening to it on, on, on streaming anything. Or, it's like seeing a commercial about it and then seeing the vinyl is like being at the show. The depth of the, the, the sound is just like, just brings you into it. It brings you into those rooms. And you, you're, you're a part of it. Mm. I've got this. I hope I do. <sighs> this is Ronnie Mel Sapp. The cover says inside, which I think I, I want to say I have this, but I don't know for sure. I'm going to get it regardless. But Inside was a song that I specifically remember off of his 40 Number Ones record, which is kind of my introduction to Ronnie Millsap. And I just wore that CD out. I mean, it will not play anymore. Um, but flipped it over and I see Any Day Now, which is absolutely one of my favorite songs. Inside, um, He Got You. <sighs> that song. Yeah, that's coming with me. Yeah, I feel like if you play any kind of blues, any kind of Strat-type instrument, you have to have studied Stevie Ray Vaughan at some point. It's just... It's just messed up if you didn't. Anything, anybody involved with this... with this sound, with this thing, is just a hero of mine. There's absolutely those moments when you play through an amp, you play like part of like one of his riffs. And that's kind of a test. It's like if it handles even remotely in a way that makes you feel like you're really kind of getting close to not, you're never gonna recreate that sound, you're never gonna replicate that sound. But if it makes you feel kind of something like it, if you can feel like, okay, this is, I feel like I, I'm channeling that, then it's like, okay, love that amp, love that guitar, love everything involved with this picture, because if it gets you close, then it means something, you know? I guess if we're marking the chapters by songs, you have to start with Star Morning because that was here. That was the first song I recorded for the debut record. Uh, we went in and I, we were all just feeling it and that's why the, 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 the riff is...